Hello, everyone, and welcome to our session on Product Opportunity Explorer. I'm Andy Bruce. I'm a senior manager of product management, been with Amazon a little over 10 years, and I lead the product management team for Product Opportunity Explorer. Product Opportunity Explorer is designed to help you launch better, more successful products on Amazon by understanding customer demand. Today, I get to share with you an exciting new approach to helping you create new products. If you have any questions during today's session, you can submit them by typing them into the Q&A box. You can upvote the submitted questions, and the most popular will be answered live at the end of this session. Amazon's customers are best served when you know what they're wanting, what they do not like, and how their preferences are changing. We want to empower entrepreneurs to better serve customers in Amazon's store. And we want to be the best place for you to understand customers. It's challenging to determine what customers want and what will succeed in the Amazon store. With Product Opportunity Explorer, you no longer get recommendations on what products to add without supporting data. Product Opportunity Explorer gives you access to rich, accurate customer demand data, so you know the why as well as the what. If you better understand customers in the Amazon store, you can better serve them. Product Opportunity Explorer enables you to evaluate how well or unwell the current products in Amazon store are meeting customer demand with complete accurate data describing customer needs. When you find areas of unmet demand, you can evaluate the opportunity. How big is it? How concentrated are the sales? How likely is a new brand to succeed? What will it cost me to launch a new product here? We're sharing this data so you can build better products and we can achieve the next level of delighting customers together. Later today, you'll get to ask me questions, but now it's my chance to ask you. We're going to take a poll and ask a couple questions. Here's how it works. Grab your phone and scan the QR code you see here, or go to menti.com, M-E-N-T-I.com, and enter the code 4168-9985. Are you ready? First question, how important to your business is adding new products? Not important, somewhat important, very important, or the most important? Next question, what percentage of new products that you launch succeed? And last question, what information would most help you to launch more successful products? Data to estimate the cost of selling, customer search and purchase behavior. What products are currently successful in the Amazon store? And what products are currently unhealthy in the Amazon store? Low product quality, poor detail page quality, high out of stock rates, and low customer reviews data. We'll come back in a minute and see the results. We've asked hundreds of sellers about their process. They told us they look for new rising products that uh, are aligned with their brand, opportunities to get on the first page of search results, i.e. fewer competing products to serve that need, an average selling price, market size, and stability in a category that will support their desired ROI, and evidence that customers will value products from an emerging brand, and potential defects, missing features, et cetera, with the existing product selection. Our vision for Product Opportunity Explorer is to better serve Amazon customers by reducing the risk of launching new products 
and helping you make better, faster decisions at each step of the product development process. Today's experience focuses on finding the opportunity. Product Opportunity Explorer takes customer demand data, searches, clicks, purchases, and clusters these behaviors into product niches. These niches represent unique customer needs, allowing you to evaluate what the customer is seeking, how large the need is, and how well that need is being addressed by current products in the Amazon store. New product creation is as much art as science. And product Opportunity Explorer aims to reduce the uncertainty so you can focus on your art. Now let's check those poll results. A few minutes ago we asked, how important to your business is adding new products? Most of you said it's very important to the most important thing you do to drive your business. What percentage of new products that you launch succeed? There's a good distribution here. Uh, I'm actually pleased to see how many say that all of your products succeed. Uh, what we see internally is that uh, it, it's hard to launch new products and have them succeed. What information would most help you to launch more successful products? The overwhelming winner here is customer search and purchase behavior. But it looks like you'd also like a lot more data. We've heard the request for more data so you can evaluate opportunities yourself. The Product Opportunity Explorer provides you over 40 metrics and the list is growing. You get brand and ASIN click share so you can evaluate how fragmented a need is. The search volume, search conversion, and banded units sold to evaluate the size of the opportunity. Many of the metrics include quarter over quarter and year over year slices. So you can evaluate trends, seasonality, and durability. We include the percent of products that are prime and the sponsor products rate. So you can estimate the cost of selling in a niche. We're excited about the metrics we have today. We have a long list of other metrics we'll be adding, but we also want to hear from you. You can request new metrics and provide feedback directly in the experience. Let's take a look at today's experience. Tens of thousands of you have access today, and we're adding more every week. You'll find Product Opportunity Explorer in the Growth tab in Seller Central. Once there, you'll have the option to search or browse for opportunities, or see suggested niches, which are recommended based on your own sales history. To really see the experience and the power of the data, let's step through a few examples. I'll do this through the eyes of sellers we've talked to throughout the development process. But don't worry, I've changed their names and the products to maintain their confidentiality. First, I'll share an example from Great Homes and Gardens. Great Homes is a brand owner. They look for trends that they can capitalize on and are open to a broad range of opportunities within the category. After 18 months of the pandemic, being home more than usual, and let's be honest, doing a lot of online shopping, they have an idea that people will want to tidy up. They investigate packing cubes as a starting point. In addition to surfacing the primary need, packing cubes, we surface other key search terms that are driving traffic to products within this niche. They can immediately see that search volume is growing significantly over the last 90 days. And the total volume is almost 800,000 searches with 100,000 units sold. This is a rounded number, but it gives you a sense of the size. They can also see the number of products within the niche and the average selling price. This data gives them a quick first pass of the opportunity size. Packing cubes for kids and clear packing cubes look to be too small to enter now, but they're growing quickly and could represent an opportunity to optimize keywords. So some of the most relevant niches for packing cubes were fairly small in search volume. Great Homes wants to focus on larger opportunities. 
they can apply filters on each of the metrics. To start, they set a minimum search volume of 50,000. You can see this has changed the results, and now they're getting some larger niches that are related to packing cubes, but aren't directly packing cubes. So now, better homes can focus on opportunities that are sufficiently large and growing. Now that Great Homes has found a niche they want to investigate, they can click through to the niche details to learn more. The first tab allows them to deep dive the products within the niche. To start, they want to understand how concentrated demand is within the niche. The top product has 13% click share and a meaningful absolute number of clicks. Products in the niche also have a healthy number of reviews. They can also see the best seller ranking, average offer count, and average star rating. As a reminder, niches are clusters of search terms that represent unique customer needs. On this tab, Great Homes can see the top search terms within this niche. They can see how each term is growing, the click share it drives, the conversion rate for the term, and the top three ASINs that are clicked based on that term with links through to the detail page. This page gives an idea of how customers are discovering products within the niche. Most are using the term packing cubes, though there is some traffic coming from more specific search terms. This data helps to further understand the customer need and where there may be an opportunity to focus on different search terms. Now let's move to the Insight, Insights tab. This is my personal favorite. Here, Great Homes gets additional metrics that describe the opportunity, cost of competition, and likelihood of success. You can see the click share for the top five and top 20 brands and products. Now, Great Homes sees that this niche has a high number of customer reviews, a low successful launch rate, and no new products launched in the last 90 days. So while the volume is growing, it may be hard for them to break in. Let's investigate another idea. Great Homes knows that we've been spending a lot of time at home. And if your house is anything like mine, it could use some freshening up. So they look at throw pillows, a splash of color, without taking up too much space. People are still buying a lot of those packing cubes after all. They're encouraged by the overall high search volume. And the customer needs column shows a lot of variety indicating customers are looking for similar products in different ways. Great Homes wants to focus on growing opportunities and filters for niches with 5% more search volume growth quarter over quarter. This brings up Pink Throw Pillows, which has a good absolute number of searches and is growing quickly. Digging deeper, they notice a theme amongst the top products, two pack, pillow cover with no insert, furry or velvety. This provides some additional color on why the average selling price was relatively low, roughly $16. Customers are seeking covers versus full pillows. Great Homes at this point wants to better understand what customers do and do not like about the products within the niche and does some customer reviews investigation. They notice in the reviews that the top complaints are zipper and fabric quality. This is good. The top complaints are specific and addressable. That presents an opportunity for Great Homes. Continuing their investigation, Great Homes moves to the Insights tab. They notice the large number of brands and lower brand age for this niche, and the brand to product ratio is small. This looks like a niche new brands can break into. The out of stock rate is high, which also suggests new offers have a good opportunity to succeed. So to recap, Great Homes investigated two opportunities, packing cubes and throw pillows. On the surface, both looked like areas where they could launch new products. As they dove deeper though, they saw the packing cubes had little room for differentiation and would be hard to break into. Throw pillows had a variety of clear had variety and clear areas where customers were dissatisfied with existing selection. Using Product Opportunity Explorer, 
Great Homes was able to eliminate one opportunity and refine a second to launch a product more targeted at customer needs. Our next seller is Goodman's Garments, a reseller of a variety of apparel brands. They prioritize opportunities with high search volume and low competition. Once they find an opportunity, they source existing brands from their current suppliers. Based on their previous success with mom jeans, they search for an adjacent opportunity in jeans women. They want to understand if there are related trends and ways to build on the success they've already had. In jeans women, they see a lot of volume in jeans for women, white jeans for women, but the volume is declining over the last quarter. To get more specific, Goodman's likes to prioritize high overall search volume as much as volume growth. They filter for 100,000 in search volume or more and sort by the highest volume growth. This surfaces an opportunity to investigate further, denim skirts, a high volume niche that is also growing almost 30% in the last 90 days. The average selling price is around $25, which is in line with the level they look for, so they keep investigating. Goodman's takes a look at the products within the niche and their metrics. Sorting by click share, they can see the click share for the top items is low. So demand is spread out, and that's good for a new entrant. The number of sellers on each ASIN is low, and there's a variety of styles. This is also something they like to see. Taking a look at the search terms, they don't indicate any specific searches for colors or styles, but confirmed denim skirt searches are growing, not only for the quarter, but dramatically over the year, especially for more specific searches like jean skirt and denim skirt for women. Digging into the top products and the lowest scoring reviews, customers are seeking true to size skirts, not junior sizes, and fabric that is stretchy, but not too thin. So there's growing customer demand and customer dissatisfaction with some features of the products. But are customers receptive to new products? Now moving deeper into the data for the niche, Goodman's can look at the distribution of click share between the top five and top 20 products. It's relatively low for both, reinforcing that what Goodman saw on the products page. Demand is distributed and customers are looking at purchasing a wide variety of products. The number of sellers is low and the out of stock rate is high, which also lends itself to new products. So let's recap. Denim skirts have growing volume, low competition from other sellers, no strong customer preference for, for specific styles, but better sizing and stretchier options are needed. It looks like a good opportunity to source new products that will meet customer needs. Our last seller is Modern Corp. They're a brand owner of many brands, each with an Amazon storefront. Therefore, they look for opportunities in several categories. They're willing to compete, even if it's highly competitive, if the search volume still justifies an investment. They aim to achieve a bestseller ranking of 25 to 30, and they have strength in item data quality, better detail pages, good price points, and brand recognition. The product development team has initial market research that furniture covers are growing in popularity. Maybe it's all the COVID dogs or just the extra time we're spending at home. Following this idea, they start by searching for couch covers. They want, to, they want established volume, so they filter on search volume and units sold. They notice a lot of variations of couch. Love seat, sectional, futon, but they click into couch cover due to the overall search volume, which is five times greater than the size of the next largest niche and growing faster than other niches. Looking at the top products, they start to notice some themes. Stretchy material, review counts are high, and the ratings are four stars or better. Click share is concentrated in the top few products. 
the opportunity isn't jumping out on the products page. But let's look at the search terms to see if we see pockets of growth that are exciting. We can see here that some terms have declining volume in the most recent quarter, while others are growing quarter over quarter and year over year. And if we look at the largest growth, we find the COVID dogs. The volume for couch covers for dogs isn't the largest on the page, but it is growing the fastest. This term also has a high conversion rate, almost 12%. Clicking through the top three products in the niche, we see the lowest rated reviews state that covers aren't actually pet perfect. They attract fur, and the fabric isn't durable enough for a pet's nails. This gives us another good idea of how to better serve the customer need. Coming back to the Insights tab, they notice the number of brands and products is low. Customers have limited choices despite dramatically increasing demand. The out of stock rate is high, while click share is more concentrated than in some of the other examples we looked at, the low product count and the high out of stock rate look like opportunities to capture some demand. It's also encouraging that the average brand in the niche is only two years old. Let's recap what Modern Corp took away. Demand for couch covers is meaningful and growing quickly. There is a pocket of demand for couch covers that work well with dogs, and the existing products don't do enough to repel hair or resist nails. Modern Corp, therefore, decided to launch a pet owner targeted couch cover with A plus content and placements in their brand store. As I mentioned earlier, we've conducted hundreds of interviews to develop Product Opportunity Explorer. And we've had a small set of sellers testing alpha and beta versions for months. Here's a few of the things we've heard from them. A consumables brand owner told us, we can use this for multiple parts of the development cycle, from validation to exploration and conceptualization. A brand owner in Germany who sells in sports and outdoors told us, I'm thrilled with the insights you're sharing. And in particular, I like that the tool is beginner friendly and it has a much cleaner user interface than other external providers. It contains everything we need to easily develop new products. And finally, a brand owner in the home category told us, You've provided the means for us to understand the size of these opportunities, niches, with units sold times average price, and this gives me the annualized opportunity. Rest assured, these sellers also gave us a long list of improvements and enhancements they want to see, and the team is fast at work on them. By now, you're all ready to jump right in and start searching for your next product opportunity, right? We've rolled this out to tens of thousands of sellers this week, and we'll be expanding through the end of the year and into next year. All sellers will have access in early 2022. If you don't have access today, but you want to request it, you can use a link on the Product Opportunity Explorer help page to contact us. For those of you who are using the tool, we want to hear from you. Tell us what you love. Tell us what you don't like and what we can do better to help you make better, faster, lower risk product creation decisions. Our goal is to make Product Opportunity to Explore your primary destination for product research and understanding customer needs.